2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Farmers Insurance Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam and Rich, as this player starts their round in the lead, what should be their focus for today? Yeah, it's right now the game plan is working, but they still have to go out there and play off the front foot, play on offense, and not worry about who's chasing them. Can't wait to find out what happens here. And let's see what he can do here today. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? He's got uh, about 140, I'd say. Had a fantastic drive. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Oh, that's a great approach shot. This putt coming up is for birdie. These are on rails, looking good. Getting off to a great start at this event. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. He sits in first position. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Second shot on the second. Well, that's a handy shot. John, you're down there. What's happening? I'm down here on the 12th hole, and this is Justin Thomas getting ready to hit. Ooh. Wow. That's right out of the Gary Player highlight reel. Seven feet to the cup. This for a birdie birdie run. One started out on a good line. Oh, he's on fire today, building upon his lead, hole after hole. That's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. He's currently sitting in first place. We find ourselves on a par three here. It might be stunning to look at, but it is painful can be extremely painful to play downhill all the way when they tuck the pin over on the left hand side forget about it never hit it there only when the pin is on the center or the right part of the green should you be taking dead aim other than that center of the green all day long opting for the five iron Woo, back there horsey He's found the surface. Good chance here. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Just didn't drop. Oh, that's too bad. Three feet to go here to the hole. This is what they have left for par here. Yeah. 
That gets the job done. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. I'm down here on the 13th hole as Justin Thomas prepares to hit. How close. Oh, stop it. What a way to make your par. Tough bunker shot. No bother whatsoever for this player. They find the bottom of the cup. Teeing off here at the fourth. Nice tee shot here. A little bit more room to the right than the players really feel like there is. However, that also brings a rough on the right-hand side of the play, and you don't want to be there, especially with this green that's set right back against the canyon. It's a difficult second shot, almost an infinite edge pool look, if you will. You really have to bear down and make sure you have a good idea of your distance control on your second shot. This one from about 160 yards out. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Well, that's well played and a great birdie opportunity coming up here at the fourth. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Job done. Let's head to the next. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf, the long par four. This fairway cambers from left to right, which helps a fade on this hole. However, don't get too overzealous and pull it because that fairway bunker down the left, that sees a lot of action. Second shot is a green that pitches back towards you from back to front. That's got a lot of movement over on the left-hand side. Second shot here on the fifth. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Well played, mate. Okay, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Surely it's going to. Time to see what's happening over at the 15th. And here we are with the third shot. And down it goes. Check this out. Holding it out from the fairway. That away. Great shot. Now with the honor on a par five. It's a nice reprieve, this par five. Just a little bit dog leg from left to right. Keep it shy of those fairway bunkers down the left-hand side, and almost every player will give it a go in two. This is a three-tiered green with a low area over on the left-hand side that sees a lot of action. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. And this player is really going after it here, Rich. I tell you what, what a sensational play. This player stepped up their game, a bold play, hopefully a bold reward. Oh, what a great stroke. 
That's a long-range bomb, and with it, puts extra strain on the person chasing behind them. And let's have one more look at that shot. Now this, this is how you putt. Take another look at this. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Well, that's huge momentum they're bringing to this hole. Coming off the eagle, time to hit another good drive. This fairway slopes pretty good from left to right. Players want to start it out at the fairway bunker down the left-hand side and just hit a gentle fade off of that. Second shot here is to an elevated green. Don't go long whatsoever here. That's when the Barranca and the Canyons come into play. That a boy. Good shot. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Opting for the nine iron. This one's got eyes for the flag stick. And this player seems to not be too intimidated having Justin Thomas in their group today. That was a fantastic shot into this green. Currently minus five. Wow, that almost went in the hole. OK, let's get back to it, shall we? Just six feet between here and the hole. He's staring down a birdie putt here. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. It's time for a one-shotter. That should set up another chance. Outside chance for Birdie here, Luke. Now, this is a challenging one. A lengthy putt awaits. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. John, what's going on out there? Down on hole number 18 as Justin Thomas gets ready to hit. Oh, what a great save. Chipping in for a par at the last. Whew, that's good. Needed it. Needed that in a big way. Chipping in for the par. Aggressive play here, going with driver off the tee. I think the challenging part about it, Luke, is it's just straight away. You have to hit a straight tee shot, a straight second shot, and a straight third shot to find the green in three. It really is just that simple and straightforward. The green does have two tiers on it, but for the most part, Luke, it's an inviting third shot. Yep, yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Time to take their approach shot into the ninth. Good shot there, Beamer. Getting ready to play their third. Oh. 
That's tidy. Five feet coming up to the cup. Punt is underway. And that will drop in for a birdie. Well, I'm interested in my buddy Beamer's thoughts at this duel after nine holes. Well, after nine, so far, so good. It's great to see these two players stepping up, getting the best out of the games. It'll be interesting to see exactly who's going to be ahead at the end of the tournament. Look at that. You don't want that ball back. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up here from about 155. And choosing the eight iron here. Club up. I like this play. Fairways and greens, easy game, isn't it? Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. They're lining up the birdie putt here. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Teeing off here at the 11th. This green from the back tee looks minuscule. There's just not a lot of room on the front of it. Even the back section, which it does get a little bit wider, it still is very small. A massive shelf, top left. If you get it up there, happy days for you. If not, just find the green, two putt, make three, move on. Sitting up miles from the hole. This is their look at birdie. I want to state the obvious, Rich, but uh, a little too hard, that one. What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this part 14 feet from the cup. Yeah, we'll take that. Now that finds him in first place. Let's head to the 12th hole, shall we? This is about as tough a hole as you're going to find anywhere on the planet. Prevailing wind coming right back into the players. You just have to step up and hit a solid tee shot to find the fairway from there. You're going in with a mid to long iron, sometimes even a hybrid to a green that sits just above you. Not a ton of movement, but enough from back right to front left to make you think. Going with the five iron here. This one is chewing fiber. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Steps up to a punt of about 15 feet in distance.
rolling end to end is looking nice. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. I know this hole's a par five, but it's a long one. So don't feel the need to overpower it. This is one of the most interesting par fives you'll ever play. If you hit a good tee shot, find the fairway, and you have the opportunity to reach, then happy days. But if you don't find the fairway or can't reach, now you've got to lay up into a low area where you're going to have a third shot that's absolutely blind. This third shot could be one of the most difficult third shots on the PGA Tour, bar none. Second shot here on the 13th. Oh, absolutely flushed. And here we are with the third shot. from way downtown, hits the flag. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Playing this shot from around 120 yards. Quality shot, that one. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. This one's tracking. Oh, well played. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Time to see what this par four has in store. As big as 12 was, Luke, this is almost twice the size, if you can imagine it, with a tiny, tiny landing area out there. This is possibly the meanest hole on this golf course. Not hardest, meanest. If you've walked off with par on this hole, job well done, my friend. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. A tidy looking shot that one. That was a beauty and a fantastic look upcoming. A birdie putter waits. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Currently in first position. Here we are in front of a par three. This is underrated difficult. The green is big in size, but it plays awfully small because there's really small sections to this green. The front, the back right, and the top left. If you find the right section, job well done. If you don't, it's going to be a difficult two putt to say the least. Well, this one's right at the pin.
That's a great shot here at 16. It sets up a chance for Birdie. Gotta like their chances from there. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Time to face a par four. They moved this fairway to the left alongside the canyon a few years ago, which really enhanced the beauty, but also the fear of this hole. You have to challenge the left-hand side because the bunker down the right is really no good. From there, the green, it tilts from back to front, mostly with a really low section over there on the left-hand side. However, it still is a promising birdie opportunity. That's a little wayward. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. They're looking to get this one close in hopes of saving par. Didn't that look good for a long time? Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. Such soft hands. Putting for a par now. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. And now striding to the final tee of this round. Wonderfully played. Is there anything classier than someone that could hit a driver off the deck? Oh, I love this type of courage, Rich. Going forward in two. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. Oh, a nine-foot chance here. It's on a great line. And another round safely in the books.